Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and guess where we are today? We are at Barnes & Noble. Okay, we're walking towards it now, and there doesn't seem to be too many people. So let's go on in. We know we're in the manga section when we hit the figures and stuff. So there's a lot of Demon Slayer stuff here. And One Piece stuff. And I see a fantasy section over there. These are so cute. Okay, but let's actually look at the manga. So we have these aisle and this. And I think it starts right here with the light novels. So taking a look at the first row of light novels. Wow, I really, really want to read Boom Into You. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I believe this is a girl's love series. But yeah, I actually don't have many light novels. If only I think I have one. Classroom with Lee. I really, really want to check out the light novel for this, but I think I'll hold back on it for now because it's pretty lengthy. Hmm. I've actually never seen the Demon Slayer light novels here, so. The Devil's a Part Timer. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know these were like hardcovers. Hmm. I don't remember if I saw this a while ago. Oof. This looks so pretty. I remember a couple months ago I saw this and I think I also had this in my past Wonka shopping <laughs> video. But yeah, this looks so interesting. I read the manga not too long ago, and it was pretty good. Whoa, this is by the same author as I Wanna Eat Your Pancreas. This one's called I'm Blue and Pain and Fragile. Here's the description. Hmm, tender, tragic tale about growing past pain and the cruelty of youth. <laughs> okay, this kind of sounds painful indeed, so let's put it back for now. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, this one is by the same author. I have a secret. <laughs> I found another one. This one is called, I Will Forget This Feeling Someday, also by <laughs> Yuri Sumino. This cover is so pretty. Okay, I'm actually really interested in checking out at least one of these light novels. I'm sure the story will be amazing. Okay, I kind of skipped past the second column of light novels, but now we'll go on to the actual manga section. We have Shikimori's is a cutie. This one's so cute. And then we have, ooh, I've actually never seen this one. Shoha Shoten. Have any of you guys read this one? We have a sign of affection and a silent voice. I've been keeping up with this series online and it's so good. It's so good. There are so many times where they just portray like a college relationship so cutely. Yeah, it's adorable. Ooh, skip beat, skip a loafer. Have you guys been keeping up with the anime? Cause it's so, so cute. I've been keeping up each week and Every time it's just so cute. If you guys haven't watched it, I highly, highly recommend it. Our two main protagonists are this girl and this guy and and their friend group is just really, really cute and I really like the girl character. I think she's one of my favorite female protagonists in a series in a long, long time. Some more skip beat. 
smash by Junji Ito. Wow, what is this? I've never seen this. And then we have Snow White and the Red Hair. So leveling, something's wrong with us. I have not checked out the series yet, but I remember people talking a lot about it when it first came out. We have Soul Eater. We have actually never seen these editions. The Perfect Edition, yeah, I haven't seen these, but they look really, really cool. They look really, really cool and really pop out. Oh, this one looks so cute. And then there's Summertime Rendering, and then we have Sweat and Soap, and here are the two box sets. I know I have the first box set, but I don't have this one yet, but I think I might just buy it off of Right Stuff or Amazon, because it might be a little bit cheaper than here. Um, but yeah, I highly, highly recommend Sweat and Soap for those of you who haven't read it yet. And then there's Sweetness and Lightning. There's so many series that I haven't seen here before. Maybe it's been too long since I've browsed, like, in person. I have not seen this one either. Time Stop Hero. This looks like an isekai <laughs> and adapted from a light novel. We have a lot of Tokyo Ghoul, Tokyo Revengers, To Your Eternity, and I also really really like how they have these. We have one for Toilet Bound, and then we also have one for Tokyo Ghoul. All right, we're on to this next section here. Oh no, I wonder why these are all ripped. Oh, this is so cool. True Beauty, one of the classic, classic webtoon series. I remember loving this so much, and I can't believe they are now releasing. That's so cool. And these are massive. Tsubaki Cho Lonely Planet. I only have the first volume right now, so I might think about getting these two. This is such a cute series, and this is by the same mangaka as Daytime Shooting Star. Yeah, so I might just pick up these two here. Volumes two and three. I've actually never heard of this one either, and this one's by Shuzo Oshimi, so a very popular mangaka. And this one's called Welcome Back, Alice. Oh, it's the latest work by Shuzo Oshimi. Yeah, so those are his other ones. I have The Flowers of Evil, but I really, really want to check out But on the Tracks and Happiness, too. I can't believe they have this too as a webtoon. <laughs> I've watched the drama. I'm also missing a couple volumes of this. I believe I only collected up to volume 8, so I'm behind two volumes. This is such a magical magic series. Highly, highly recommend. It's such great world building and the characters are so cute. Here, so let's flip through volume 1. Yeah, it's amazing. Highly recommend. Well, of course we have Yona. Before I continue on with the video, I wanted to thank Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat once again for sponsoring this video. Both Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat are monthly subscription Japanese snack boxes, and they kind of have like a different take on these boxes, but both of them have rotating themes every month. So let's open Tokyo Treat first. Tokyo Treat is more on the trendy side. You get a lot of pop media, entertainment, and still a lot of cultural aspects in this box. Every box comes with a brochure that tells you what each snack is. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the theme for June is Osaka. Wow, this looks so good. Ume flavored popcorn, Osaka takoyaki senbei, retro corn puffs. Wow, these are chocolate bread bites. We have this Kobe melon soda, looks so refreshing. Peach pastels, I believe these are hard gummies. Osaka grape gummies, these are banana man marshmallow. This is tonkatsu style vegetarian ramen. This is okonomiyaki senbei, melon panda cookie, potato fry snacks, takoyaki flavored snack mix. Next up is Sakura Ko. Sakura Ko's twist on subscription boxes are they offer a very local and traditional approach to these. All of these snacks are from local makers from around the area, depending on where the theme is, and you get a dishware included in this one as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. And guys, the box is so pretty. So this month's theme is mochi and fruit marvels. 
First off, we have Ichigo Mochi Manju. We have this lemon pie snack. Momo Kibidango. So good. I'm actually going to just eat one right after this. Honey Mochi Apple. These are melon gofrets. These are lemon squid tempura crackers. This is a nut sable. These Ajiko Mochi crackers. These are wasabi kabocha seeds. Hana Moyo. And of course, we have our teas always in these soccer coat boxes. This is Genmai Cha with green tea. And these are lemon vinegar rice crackers. I'm so excited for these. These are shine muscat jelly. And for our dishware, let's open it up. This is the chrysanthemum dish it's called Mino Ware Pottery. And it is made in Japan, of course. Huge thanks to Tokyo Tree and Sakurako for sponsoring this video. These snacks look so, so good. And to be quite honest, I'm actually so excited for this one. I think this might be my favorite box out of any subscription box I've received, mochi and fruit. And I think you guys should get a box for yourself. These make really, really great gifts and you can share with your friends as well. So thank you so much both, so much. So thank you so much to both of them. Please check out my description below to see how you can get these boxes for yourself and use the code MANGATAMA. So please check out the link down below to see how you can get your hands on these boxes. And yeah, yeah, catch me snacking during my manga shopping. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much again and let's resume the shopping. Oh, this series is also so good. I'm not caught up on this at all, so I won't get volume 12 for now, but holy cow, this art is amazing. Okay, no spoilers, but the art is so, so cute. And I love these panels they have on the back covers here. Komi, Kubo. <laughs> the anime for this is so, so cute. <clears throat> I'm not caught up yet, but it's a really, really cute series about this girl who's really cute <laughs> in this guy who seems to be invisible but obviously she can see him so that's adorable Ooh, the kurosaki corpse delivery service i've never seen <laughs> volume 5 actually so this is a bit startling i only have volume 1 and these are out of print i believe so they're really hard to find but i don't really know if i'm going to be continuing collecting the rest of the series um We'll have to see. I enjoyed reading volume one. This is about college students who decide to start their corpse delivery service project. Um, yeah, but it's like a supernatural environment. Love me, love me not. I wonder what this is. Okay, we have Love of Kill. I have the first three volumes. I really, really enjoyed it, but I think I might get these somewhere else because there's just so many of them. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> this looks so cute. Lovely Nuko. Very cute. <laughs> okay, and then we have Lovesick Ellie. Really cute series, but I think I'm also caught up on this one. No way. Absolutely no way. I love this so much. I remember a couple of you guys telling me on Instagram that this was going to come out, the Marvel Labor Collector's Edition, but I seem to have forgotten because I am so shocked right now and I'm definitely getting this. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Marvel Labor is literally one of the cutest shoujo rom-com series ever. Um, it came out a long, long time ago, but it's still so good. And the anime is so good and the soundtrack is so good. Yeah, everything about it is amazing and I love the art. What I really like this is about two classmates who end up living together because their parents decided to remarry. So they become step siblings. You know, it's an <laughs> interesting relationship. <laughs> this sounds so interesting. Here, my dress up darling. This one looks pretty cute. Actually, this looks really cute. My secret affection. I really, really like this art. It's very shoujo-esque. <laughs> Sucks that there isn't a volume one, but when I see it, I think I'll get it. <laughs> Holy cow, I have never seen these. <laughs> Just look how big they are compared to the normal volumes. That's insane. Ooh, there is no longer human. I've heard a lot of things about this one. Parasite, oh, we have Penguin Drum really interesting and out there series i think oh there's also penguin and house <laughs> wait this looks so cute an adorable slice of life with pancakes and laughter 
Oh, that looks so cute. <laughs> well, I definitely want to check this out sometime. The art is adorable. Ooh, I remember seeing this one before and this is actually the sequel to Cuckoo Sweeper, if you guys have heard of that one. Because I remember the art looking so familiar the last time I saw the series. I love, love cooking series. The art is always so good. Romantic hair. This series is so cute. It's on Netflix. Go watch it. <laughs> I remember pointing this one out last time too. It looks so pretty. Interesting, interesting. She's a cat. These look so cool. I really like how Barnes & Noble is starting to carry more art books. And we have this entire section left to go, so let's go ahead. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. A slightly gory story about humans in an age where they have to fight man-eating titans. Join Aaron and his crew as they struggle for their lives from not only titans, but another entire hidden world. <laughs> Slightly gory. Okay, we have a lot of beast stars and berserk down there. <laughs> Onward. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Blue Giant. Every time I see this series, I want to get it, but I never see one and two. This is so cool. I've always wanted to read about playing this saxophone. <laughs> Blue Period, also a really cool series about art, like drawing, and the entire process of getting into an art university. Huh? Whoa, this is a webtoon too. Guys, this might just become a K-drama and webtoon channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but so cool. I really, really enjoyed watching the K-drama for this. Oh, this is so funny. A boy and his dog and their journey to discover the meaning of love for fans of action, toast, and dancing. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, we have some more volumes of Cheeky Brat. I'll hold off on collecting that for now, but I will be continuing it. I think I need volumes five and six. Chobits. Cinderella closet. Oh, this looks so, so pretty. Glass slippers not included. Ooh, the art is really, really cute. The Hemsworth Star, one of my favorite shoujo's of all time. Demon Slayer. Have you guys been keeping up with the anime? It's so good. The Swordsmith Village arc. So good. Ooh, there's a box set for this. So cool. Dr. Stone. Hmm. A Galaxy Next Door. The anime is coming out for this, right guys? I haven't been keeping up with it, or I haven't started watching it at all, but 
I've read the manga, or up to volume 3, I believe, um, and it's pretty cute. So let me know how the anime is if you guys have watched it. Oh, they finally have the girl I like. Forgot her glasses. I think an anime is coming out with this as well. Probably next season or next two seasons in the future. This is so, so cute. I have the, I have the Mandarin version of the first two volumes, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that they're publishing it now in English. Golden Japanese, so good. I have all five volumes and I really, really want to read the sixth one, so <sighs> hoping that comes out soon. Alright, and this is the last column. Honey Lemon Soda. I'm so, so excited for this series. I have volume 1, so I might get volume 2 right now. But this is a shoujo series that is now being published in English, and it's so adorable. Honestly, I got a little bit annoyed at the girl sometimes, but <laughs> the guy is really cool. And the both of them are just so cute. And the art is amazing. Fantasy section, Sakamoto Days. Ooh, I've never seen this. So cool. So, is this like a prequel? Because it does say before Chainsaw Man. That's really cool. This one's also really cool. I've never seen this one. We have the full color collection of Parasite. This is so cool. I think I first saw this in my last shopping video and yeah, it still amazes me that they're coming out with new editions for this and what the heck is this? This is so cool. I'll collect this someday. But currently I have the entire set of the soft cover editions. Okay guys, I think this is the set that I'm gonna get today and I'll probably come back and get more in the future or just buy more online but for now, this is the spread. <laughs> All right, guys, it's getting a little dark out there. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna make this fast, but thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I ended up buying three volumes, as you guys saw. I got two volumes of Tsubaki Cho Lonely Planet, two and three, and these are by Mika Yamamuri. Really, really great mangaka. I love daytime shooting stars so much. And I also really do like this series as well. I read it online a long time ago. <laughs> and yeah, so I really, really enjoy it. And so I got these two because I'm gonna be continuing the series. Highly recommend if you like shoujo, if you like daytime shooting star, like cute things, cute art style, go for this. And then the second thing I got was Marmalade Boy Volume 1 Collector's Edition. I'm so, so excited uh, for this entire series to come out. I'm a huge fan of Marmalade Boy, huge fan of Kadocha, and also a huge fan of um, Marmalade Boy's mangaka's other works. Anime is so good as well. Just everything about this series is perfection besides a couple issues that arise near the end of the series But overall, I really like the journey and the vibe of this entire series and apologies I couldn't talk too much in that store near the end of filming. There were a lot of people that were browsing manga Whew. Yay for manga, but I also didn't want to be disrespectful and <laughs> disrupt their kind of browsing time So I didn't say too much, but I managed to get all the series I wanted to and yeah that was a really fun time for me, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for coming with me on this really quick and mini shopping haul at Barnes & Noble. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!